are you? It is, oh, I still have morning voice. I didn't even realize that. It's 7.41 and I've been up since 5.15. I woke up so early this morning, just like ready for the day. I don't know what was wrong with me, but it is Thursday, April 21st. And I am starting out my morning a little bit differently. So I'm gonna have like just a couple of these while I talk to you. So I'm fucking starving right now. So I just got my micro needling done on Tuesday early afternoon and they recommend you wait like this like a three two to three day downtime. But mm, 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 these are really good. These are the skinny pop mini kind of like pop cakes and they're the cheddar ones. Mmm so good. And can I just tell you, I'm so off topic, so I'm sorry. I would have never been able to have a bag of something lying around my house without like binge eating it. And the fact that I can have a few and put them away, like, and I don't even have them every single day. They're kind of just like a quick little something to hold me over. I've come a long way. You can too, I promise. But anyway, so my face is this is so rude. My face is healing so well. I really feel like my face is so fucking resilient from all the like benzoyl peroxide and acid and shit that I put on my face. So technically speaking, you're not supposed to sweat for up to like three days after the treatment, but they really say just like, see how your face is and if, it, if you feel good and if there's not like, you know, wounds, you know, you should be fine. I am gonna actually go to the gym and do like a bodybuilder style workout. And I'm gonna bring a towel with me to pat myself dry. Today, I'm gonna try something brand new. I've never done this before, ever. I'm gonna take protein and my carb drink pre-workout. Why not, right? It's, there's no fat, it's super fast digesting carbs, super fast digesting protein, so I'm gonna try it. So I'll let you know how I like it. So I'm just gonna do one scoop of the One Up Nutrition Tri Carb. It is um, my favorite, Brian's too, I gotta order more. But it is three different types of carbs that kind of like digest over a time. So you have th like a super fast digesting and then two slower digesting um, carbs to kind of like keep you fueled and everything like that. So I'm gonna put one scoop, one scoop is 25 grams of carbs. So I, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna weigh this out on the scale because I'm actually curious to know a lot of the time, I don't know if you guys know this, a lot of the time the actual scoop is a lot bigger than the serving size. So I'm just curious. So a serving size is 24 grams. I'm gonna fill up the scoop as if, okay, so I filled up the scoop and it says it's 32 grams. So you're actually getting more if you really, if you do like a level scoop like that. So I, during prep, I always weighed everything out because you cannot trust the scooper. They do make it bigger. So just be careful if you track your macros or if you're on bikini prep or whatever, um, you really might be having, like look at how, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of shitty, but you see how it's like, I had to like scoop it out. So it's kind of eye-opening. So I'm gonna do one proper serving of the tri-carb, and then I'm gonna do one scoop of the protein, and I'm just gonna weigh this out too. I really don't care since it's just protein, but I wanna see. So one scoop is 31 grams, and I'm gonna drink this on the way to the gym, and it's going to really fuel me. Okay, so the scoop is kind of heaping, so. All right, so the scoop is definitely bigger, so just be aware of that when you are tracking your supplements. Um, let me know in the comments below, pause the video, and let me know, I'm curious, do you weigh out your supplements like this, or is this kind of eye-opening for you? Are you realizing like, wow, maybe I should? 
be weighing out my supplements. So this is gonna be my pre-workout drink and then during my workout, I like to sip on something during my workout. So I'm gonna do one scoop of the vegan BCAAs. I have the flavor raspberry lemonade, I think it's called. Raspberry lemonade, yes, I love it. I love that there's no artificial sweetener. There is no colors or dyes. There's really nothing. Um, it's awesome. I love this product. And then I'm also going, whew, powder out of my mouth or something. I'm gonna do a scoop of the collagen peptides. Um, and this is going to be 18 grams of protein. So I'm gonna also weigh this out just to kind of see, cause I know the scoop is bigger, so why not? And then weighing it out, I don't track my macros, but weighing it out now shows me how much the scooper should look like, which is very important. Okay, so this is funny. So this scoop for the collagen peptides is like on point. It's exactly, it's exactly 20 grams. So just weigh your shit. So I have BCAAs and I have collagen peptides. So now my plan of attack during my workout is going to be pre, oh my God, I'm making the biggest mess, you guys. You have no idea what my counter looks like right now. <laughs> Pre-workout, I'm going to drink my carbs and my protein. And then now that I'm talking it out with you guys, I'm actually gonna save my BCAAs and my collagen peptides for the car ride home or like during like my last exercise because since I am drinking protein so close to my workout, I don't need another, you know, 18 grams of protein 10 minutes after, you know, during my workout. So this will be actually perfect for my drive home because I live about 20, 20-ish, 20 25 minutes away from the gym that I'm going to. I'm gonna go to my old bodybuilding style gym because I'm kind of craving one of those bodybuilder style of workouts. Um, I don't train like that very often anymore. So I am gonna get going. I am gonna go off and hit this leg workout. I made a plan for myself. I always go to the gym with a plan because if I don't, that's when you dilly dally. That's when you're like, you don't feel like you had a good workout because you're like, oh, what should I do next? So I have a plan with me. I wrote it this morning. Um, this lighting is making me look fucking shredded. It's kind of incredible. I had a cookie last night before bed at like 9.30. Me and Brian split one of the Revival by Jack cookies. Um, I've never showed these on my YouTube before, but these are the best protein cookies you will ever have in your life and they're all natural so clean there's no butter it's made with coconut oil and these cookies are so big like they're fucking huge and the macros are incredible um, one cookie is around 250 260 calories and it's all from whey protein, organic sugar, and coconut oil. So me and Brian split a cookie last night and I'm looking so shredded, it's crazy. <laughs> the quality of ingredients matters. And if you have, you can have a cookie, but um, just try to have it be, like it can be a little higher calorie like these, but if it's good ingredients, your body's not gonna be bloated from the artificial sweetener, from all that junk and that there's nothing artificial in here. Literally no artificial ingredients. So you can have cookies and they can be higher calorie, but with better ingredients, you're gonna see such different results in your body. So I'm gonna stop rambling because I really wanna show you kind of like a day in my life. So let's get going to the gym. I will see you for my leg day. So major fail. I had to leave the gym. <sighs> I feel so sick right now. Um, I think drinking my carbs and my protein was not what my body wanted. It's like, I've been up since 5.15 and I kind of forgot that because I was actually working um, just like on my phone and like journaling and like just stuff like that. And uh, so yeah, I, I should have taken my hunger as like, okay, you need to eat. But I just wanted to get to the gym as soon as possible. And I walked on the treadmill for 10 minutes and I was like trying not to get sick the entire time. And then like right now talking to you, I feel very sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I need to make this quick. I need to eat. I'm just gonna share with you what I got. Um, I tried to do a couple goblet squats and my heart was like pounding out of my chest and I just, I do not feel good. So I stopped at this root, uh, raw juice place in Boca and I got a berry coconut raw oatmeal parfait. There's a little bit of granola, 
um, overnight oats, berries, and a little bit of honey and coconut flakes. So I'm going very natural, um, no almond butter. Um, I didn't want a lot of fat. I just kind of wanted like like just fresh carbs and fat from like the coconut flakes. And there's hemp seed, um, hemp and flax seed granola in here. So that's gonna bring a little bit of fat. yummy though oh my gosh I'm so I need to eat this so I'm gonna take a couple bites um, see how I feel and if I feel okay I'm gonna go to the gym and, and start my workout finally um, and if not I'm just gonna go home and I'm gonna call it and maybe I'll get to the gym later but I'm listening to my body right now and I'm not gonna push through I'm going to eat just a couple bites of this maybe half of it see how I feel and I will keep you guys updated I feel so much better oh my goodness so I, just to recap you guys, it is almost 12 o'clock and I sat in my car and I ate that entire, I'm filling up my water, if you hear like peeing sound. <laughs> um, I sat in my car and I started to eat my um, little oatmeal, raw oatmeal parfait and I started to feel so much better so I just ate the entire thing. I was like, you know what, I didn't feel 100% yet so I knew I wasn't going to go work out. So I just had the whole thing and I'm like, this is, I'm just gonna listen to my body and the gym is not going anywhere. So if I go to the gym later, if I go to Planet Fitness right down the road from me, if I do a spin class, if I do an at-home workout, the gym is not going anywhere. So oh, I feel so much better. I stopped and I got a Starbucks latte um, and I just hung out at home. I did a little bit of work on my computer, some client check-ins, a little bit of work on my phone, and now I'm headed out to go back, all the way back to Boca. <laughs> 30 minutes, 35 minutes. <sighs> so I'm just driving back and forth all day today, but that's okay. I have a really cool thing that I'm gonna share with you guys. So I'm also, so I'm going long, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm gonna, I'm going to my esthetician who did my face and they're, I'm gonna ask them, can I sweat today? If I feel up for it, I'm gonna listen to my body. But if they give me the green light, I might just do like a low impact spin class on my Peloton bike. Um, but I, I'm getting something done that I'm gonna show you. It's to my stomach, my abs. So stay tuned for some really cool footage of what I got going on in Boca at Peace Love Med. I'm so excited, it's so cool. Okay, you guys, so I am at Peace Love Med right now and I'm gonna do M Sculpt, which is, this is my second treatment today. Yeah. And it's 30 minutes long. And what is this exactly? So it, you put this thing on my stomach and it just feels like I'm doing a crunch. I'm doing 20,000. 20,000 crunches in 30 minutes. Yes. Crazy, so, so how, how? <laughs> what is that shocking I feel? <laughs> the shocking feeling you feel is like pretty much electrodes, like they're really intense and they go a very deep. So they also, um, um, break down your lactic acid and tightens it. So it's really cool. So it's like a machine that's helping my strengthen and, my abs. Yes, and also get rid of, rid of the lactic acid. And lactic acid. And does it like does it tighten your like what does it do? Does it do anything to fat or is it just muscle tightening? It's it, there is the lactic acid is the removal of the fat. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, cool. So that like lower I struggle with like the lower belly. Mm -hmm. That lower belly pouch. So we can actually right. put it on the lower belly for you. To okay. Okay, yeah, that's like my, cause like my abs up here. Here, good. Good, but it's at we'll lower. We'll turn it around because the paddle could be turned. Oh, so it. oh, cause before I had it up and oh, down. down right. Yeah, and so now we'll, this way. perfect. Yep. Cool, so I'm gonna set the camera here so you guys can see. All right. Should I lift this up or is it? That's okay. It's definitely intense. Oh, yeah. It like hurts a little bit, but then I get used to it, you know? And then I'm like, okay, I think I'm good. But it's like, you know? Have you tried it? Have you, yeah, have you tried it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't around. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just the video. So, yeah, this yeah. is good. This is good. It's so crazy. I know it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a little bit of a cramp. 
Yeah. I felt that yesterday. I felt like that's was crampy okay. yesterday, but I knew it was my muscles. Yeah, that's okay. I was like, do I have period cramps today? <laughs> well, that's why men sometimes cannot take it as high up because oh. they're like, oh my god, what is this? That's so funny. <laughs> and women can go up to 100 within seconds. Because we're fucking strong. Yeah, yeah. Men suck. They're <laughs> babies. That's so funny. Good? Yeah. I'll go to 100. There you go. This is 100. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I like crunch with it. Yeah. Oh, this is the long one. Oh. Oh, isn't, I don't think I didn't have a long one last time. Did I? I must did. have. Are you funny? <laughs> How crazy is that? So crazy. But it definitely gets you that muscle tone. Oh, yeah. And then the results, like how soon? Six to eight weeks after the last treatment. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I just got home. It is two o'clock, and the only real actual food food I've had was that oatmeal bowl thing. Um, but it kept me really full for super long, a lot of fiber in there. So this is my next meal. I bought this um, kale Caesar quinoa salad at Raw Juice with the place that I got that oatmeal parfait. And I will read you off the ingredients. Super clean. It has quinoa, kale, tomatoes, yellow onion, garlic, red pepper, cucumber, lime juice, cilantro, um, tahini, uh, let's see, liquid aminos, nutritional yeast, avocado, and coconut nectar. So this is a good, kind of a really good balanced meal because the tahini, uh, the coconut nectar, I'm sure will have, I don't know if that has carbs in it or not but there's avocado in here, so that's gonna be fat, and then the quinoa and the kale and all those veggies for carbs. I did add some tomato, and then I added some cauliflower that I had in the fridge, and I topped it with chicken. So I'm gonna eat this, I am starving, but it looks so good. Hey guys, just here to update you quick. It is a little past four o'clock, and I went to Marshall's. I went to Home Goods because Brian's parents are coming to actually stay with us this weekend. So I wanted to get candles. I got some really great candles, some really huge candles. Like, look at this. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with Home Goods. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my God, it's huge. And it was $12. Ow, I just rocked my face, but I wanted to show you like that's the size of my head. It's like five pounds. So I got like like nine candles like this. And then I did this little thing with my entryway. How pretty, I really like it. I got my little baby some toys. Do you like them? Are you having so much fun? Yeah? Okay, all right mama. I love you, baby, so much. Hmm. And I have 45 minutes until I have to get on a call. So I feel really good right now. I'm so glad I listened to my body and I rested and all of that. So I think I'm gonna hop on the Peloton bike just for like a 30 minute class, just to get my body moving because I have been pretty just like chilling today since I haven't felt very well. So, ooh, I have my BCAAs in the fridge because I never ended up drinking them because I didn't feel well. So, I have my BCAAs and my collagen. So that'll be perfect actually, like during my spin if I need some hydration. So I'm gonna hop on and just do a 30 minute class, get on two calls, and then dinner tonight is steak. We're going to make some steak, um, probably like New York, New York strip steak or some type of sir or like sirloin. Mm. And um, we're gonna have some veggies. I always keep my carbs lower when I have a higher fat protein. So there's gonna be like, you know, 20-ish grams of fat from the steak. So I get my carbs from veggies. And so we have asparagus that I have to steam really quick, for like two minutes. I have butternut squash and I have some cauliflower. So I'm gonna go do my spin class and I'll check you guys for dinner time.
one whole egg and then one egg white and then coconut water for my calls so I am fueled and not starving before dinner. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. So it's um, eight o'clock, I think, and I am making the steak. I'm making a New York strip steak, but it's taking a lot longer than expected because they're like this big. So I just had half of my dinner. I had asparagus, butternut squash, and cauliflower, my whole plate of it, and now I'm just waiting to have my protein. Um, and I'm gonna top my steak with sauteed mushrooms. So. I didn't show you because the dinner is like not a plated dinner. I literally was just eating shit out of like a pan and out of a tub of ware because I was so hungry and the steak is just taking too long. So, oh well, it is what it is, but it's gonna be delicious once it finally comes out of the oven. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. Please give me some love. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. I think the next video I'm gonna do is going to be um, like a life, kind of like a life recap. I had a request to kind of share my story and I think I'm gonna get really raw and vulnerable and share parts of my story that I have never shared on social media before. Just to show you where I have come from, where I came from, and how I've really elevated my life. And I'm gonna hope that you find motivation from that if you're going through anything hard um, or tough and you feel like you just like can't win, you can't level up. I am here to prove that you absolutely can. Uh, you can go through a lot of shit like I have in my life and come out on top. So I'm thinking that's gonna be my next video as like a little cheat for you. So I'm gonna get going, check on my steak, hopefully eat that soon. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.